so uh, it's a real pleasure to be here today. Uh, and thank you, Evan, and everyone else who was working for such a great uh, uh, gathering of computer vision and imagery. So short background about myself. Uh, images and videos and computer vision has been part of my, most of my career, even though I'm not really an algorithm or a photographer person. Uh, I co-founded PicScout uh, in 2003, which became the market leader for image tracking. And later on, we announced, we actually showed a pickup in 2007 where we showed how we can give images for free and put advertisement on them. Not a big success for now. Um, and then we, create, we sold the company to uh, Getty Images uh, when we defined the basic infrastructure for what we called frictionless licensing. Uh, that is kind of like the technology that is right now between enabling licensing between Pinterest and Getty. So in 2011, I actually moved to New York with my family, um, where I started my new adventure, um, trying to harness everything I know about technology and what I need as a family member, uh, and put everything together to try and reimagine uh, how we should s save and share memories. So going over everything we heard today, uh, we heard about 24-7 imagery, we heard about more photos and more photos and computer vision and algorithm and identifying everything we can know out of the tons of photos that we are taking. But there are people who still doesn't get what does it mean to take so much photos. Let me share with you, the Prime Minister of Israel. <laughs> מה אתה עושה עם זה? זאת אומרת, מה בדיוק עושים עם זה? צילמת, אוקיי, אז מה קורה עכשיו? What happens now? מה אתה עושה עם זה? מה? לוקחים את הכי טובה. מה אתה עושה עם זה אבל, נניח, נו, אז מה? אז מה? משעמם. Right, they wouldn't do it. אני לא מבין את העולם החדש הזה, כולם מצלמים. מתי הם מספיקים לחיות? הם כל הזמן מצלמים. כולם מצלמים את כולם. רק מצלמים, זה הכל מה שזה. מצלמים, 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 מצלמים. אל תצלמו, תחיו. מה, מה? לא צילמת, לא חיית. אני חייתי ולא צילמתי. מה זה שם? So, uh... Yeah, this was like taken on a back scene. So I don't want to go back 20 years ago, but I mean, we don't want to do back with technology, but let's just take 20 years ago, 25 years ago, I don't know, I mean, this is what the camera that my parents had. And I heard so many times today about the idea that how valuable was those photos. But these photos were really something that was kept in this situation, and maybe two or three of them every time, in case they were not too blurry, was actually saved into a place where it created joy, right? It was a place that was accessible. It was a place that we could come back again and again and again and relive those memories. And then an amazing technology came in 2001. Lastly, uh, image capture, built right into Mac OS X. I don't even need to launch an app. All I need to do is take my digital camera, turn it on here, and uh, plug it in via USB. And image capture will automatically recognize the camera and launch, as you see. And it pops up and says, would you like me to download your pictures? I will put them into the pictures folder in Mac OS X. And some cameras hold audio and even movies, and they'll put those into the music and movies folder. So I say, yeah, go ahead and download, me, download my pictures. And there it is, automatically downloading them. It will automatically build thumbnails, put them in the pictures folder for me. And here's my pictures. So I can say, great, let me take a look at those. Let me select all of them. Preview opens. There's my pictures. So I, I plugged my camera in 30 seconds ago. I've already got thumbnails. I'm already sitting here looking at my pictures. Right? Pretty nice. So that was just the beginning, right? I mean, like, technology was, didn't stop. I mean, we got the 24-7 pictures. We got the mobile photos. We got more and more and more photos. And what are we doing with them? We are sharing them. We are sending them to everyone, photo messaging, online, social media, and we back up them. More and more and more storage, more and more and more photos. 
But something was missing in all those type of things that happening. All of this came in the expense of the experience of the human element of memory saving. So recently we took a survey together with Nielsen, which we're going to publish in the next two weeks, but I want to give you a sneak peek of like two of the main results that we found. Over 75% of parents say that they store photos and videos in, in various locations, not just one location. And seven out of 10 parents are worried that they won't be able to access their family memories in the future because they are saved in so many locations. What are we going to give to our kids? This? This? It's like, what, what, what is going to be? It's going to be like a list of passwords to actually go through all the memories that we have. So, we decided to create Kipi. We decided to reimagine what memory should look like in the future using the technology available today. So what is really important for us? We want to save. We don't want just to back up or to share. We want to put everything that we care about in one place, being it a video, a voice, or, or, a, or a photo. And we want to create it personalized. We don't, want just, we don't just want dump of files. We want to actually make it personalized, making a place for each family member. And we want to record the moment, not just the photo. So we, we actually enable the way to record a video story on top of the image. We want to make it private, so only, those, only our loved one will actually get access to what we are saying. We want to connect generations, the, the older generation with the younger generation and create intergenerational platform. So we decided to create Kipi. I am so proud of you. It's a Lego monster. Uh, I get a hundred on my test. I love the colors of that fish. <laughs> so, thank you, thank you. So, I'm, I'm already run, run late. So, I don't know what the future is going to look like. And I know how we are going to consume photos and videos. Is it going to be on a hologram or in our palm of our hand, on our chip in our mind? But I do know that if, when I'm going to be a grandfather one day and sit down with my grandkids, we will have a lot of curated photos, humanly made, of the family. Thank you very much. Thank you.